Oh, well, would you look at that? It's raining outside. I wanted to film today. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the first generation iPad, see how it holds up 12 years later. Wrong thing. Here we go. This is the first generation iPad. Let's do this. There were many imperfections with this thing when it came out, such as the lack of a camera or Adobe Flash in the browser, but regardless, it managed to sell it pretty quickly and it became one of Apple's best attempts at a full touchscreen iPod, which it basically was. Even though it was an iPad, it shipped with iPhone OS. Yes, iPhone OS 3 dot something, I don't remember. And, and basically it was a giant iPod with the music controls, App Store. So basically the hardware on this thing was phenomenal. It came with an A4 chipset, which was Apple's first ever custom chipset that they made themselves. It also came with 512 megabytes of RAM, which I wouldn't blame them for that low amount because it was still new. Technology of smartphones was still advancing and so that's why it has such low RAM. Basically this thing was everything that you needed when it came to web browsing or watching videos on that sort of thing since it did come with the app store. You can download any app you wanted and it would still be good. Personally, I've actually had a long history with this thing. My therapist, when I was a kid, she used to let me play this like bubble popping game. That's all I can say what I remember when I used this thing because I never really used Apple products when I was a kid because I actually had everything I needed, video games, that sort of thing. So I was never really a fun person except I would actually, except when I would ask one of my parents if I could use their phone for YouTube since the only computer we had was old, crappy, it didn't work. So yeah, I used my parents' phones because yeah, I was a kid. I never really expected a lot, but hey, I was a kid. That's just how everything worked. I'm just gonna give my answer now because that's the kind of channel I am. I just get straight to the point and not like try and gaslight the, my viewers. Yes, it is still usable, but not as a daily device. I mean, it's cool to swipe around the interface, but just not use usable tablet because I don't know what to say. It's a thing and it exists. It's old technology. Either way, if you really wanted to use it just for like basic swiping on the UI, it's good for that. But other than like basic tasks like me, actually music is actually okay on that thing. I'm, I actually used spot, I actually had an old version of Spotify on that thing. I linked up my account and it worked. And I also downloaded some music from the old iTunes store from an old computer we have lying around. And yeah, music does work on that thing. The speakers aren't really the best on that thing, but I do have a, a speaker case that it came with that the person I got it from gave to me for free. Basically, it's like, I don't know where it is, but it, I have it somewhere. Final conclusion on this thing. Yes, you can still use it. It's, oh, it's an okay tablet for just simple tasks, but don't rely on it for heavy ones. And because of that, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.